Hello there. This morning we're gonna be making some pepper pot Guyanese style. Well, pepper pot is a Guyanese thing, so our style, me and Jackie. So we have the beef, we have some pork, we have some cow heel. This is the seasonings that we're gonna be putting in. We have some chill out two types of onions shallot onion, regular onion, garlic, some peppers Guyanese style again, very very big pepper got some dry thyme we got some clove, we got some spice, we got some orange peel and we have two types of kazrib pomeroon kazrib there and we have some of the regular trusted major casrip so we're gonna be starting to cook this good stuff up so we're gonna cut up all the seasonings and then we're gonna start pressuring the cow heel right miss j yes yes getting all this goodness to go in the pot Doing our onions and garlic and stuff so we can season the meat for a little bit. Let it rest for a little bit while it's seasoned. Yes, so we have the meat seasoned down here. Yes, we got all the seasonings in the pot and the meat's already seasoned and a, bit, a little bit of casrip too. So we're going to let it marinate for a couple of hours. Then we're gonna start with pressuring the cow heel. Once this is tender enough, we're gonna add the beef and the pork. And just let it simmer for a few hours. Then tomorrow, we're gonna come back, add more stuff to the pot that it needs. If it needs more cast with more spices, taste it and let it go for another, simmer for a couple of hours. I usually let my pepper pot go for three days. On the third day, it's ready for me. So for the two days, I'm just simmering and adjusting spices. On the third day, it's ready to eat. And you'll be doing some homemade Fresh bread. Fresh homemade bread with it. I got a piece of um, cassava bread yes, I'm gonna work it with better, too. that's even better, some cassava bread. Yes. So this is it, guys. We're gonna get this started. It's been sitting here for a couple of hours. I just fit, um, Toss it again with more seasonings. So I'm gonna start with the cow heel now. So you're gonna pressure that? Yes, I'm gonna add the cow heel to the pressure cooker and let it go. I don't let it cook all the way through. Once it starts, you, the skin starts swelling, you know it's starting to get tender. I want it so to loosen the it's pot. It's halfway there. Then I'm gonna add the rest of meat and let it cook together. So by the time that meat is soft enough, this is good to go. Alright. So I'm gonna do this. Alright guys, see? It's starting to soften. The heel is still shaking, it's releasing, it's getting tender. So now we're gonna add the beef because this needs a little more cooking time too. So we add the beef and some more cas rib and let this simmer for a little bit before we add the pork. This way for um, beef is a little tough, it's gonna tend.
has been simmering for a while now. See the sauce is nice and getting a nice color on it. So our meat is nice and tender enough. So we're gonna add the pork now. Let it all marry in the pot and come together. So you're gonna let this simmer for a few more hours. Add our bay leaf, two bay leaves, and salt to taste. spices you like. I like a lot of fine six leaf thyme and stuff in this pot. Looking good already boy. So if it's too, the casrick is too bitter, you can add a little bit of sugar when you taste it. And the next thing you add pepper to taste because yes. some people love a lot of pepper. Mm -hmm. So we let this go for a couple of hours. And once you have enough salt and everything and the meat is just right, enough casserole, it's good to go. But for me, I like it to marinate overnight, go for two days to come together. And Give then it I enjoy nice, my cup of pot. rich taste. But it's taste. something you can just eat the next day if you want to, or same night. But I like mine to get a little soak in, soak in and all the flavors come together. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow I'm going to adjust whatever spices it needs and but make the homemade, homemade bread. bread. Yes, can't have pepper pot without homemade bread. So we're going to close here for now. Alright, I'm going to eat for me and you guys. Yes. Until.